Good afternoon. My name is Rolando Ferreira Jr. and I am very honored to be your guest speaker today. I would like to begin by thanking my good friend Lizette Odfalk for this invitation. I met Lizette at the University of Houston back in 1986 when I was a student. She was the Vice President of the Mexican Student Association, on which I was more than welcome, even being a Brazilian. <coughs> Here is the reason I must apologize about my English. I lost much of my fluency since I got back from the United States in 1991. It was a long time ago, you must agree. I have heard about the Rotary Club, but was never actively involved with it. Today, I understand you take large part in social work, helping people around the world. I find this initiative to be an essential part of community living. This type of work is the one which maintains our faith in humanity. Congratulations. Now about me. You must be wondering who exactly I am. Well, I used to be a professional basketball player and was the first Brazilian ever to play in the NBA for the Portland Trail Blazers. I also defended the Brazilian national team <coughs> for 14 years. Through those, I took part of two Olympic Games in Seoul 1988 and Barcelona in 1992. I was also part of the team which defeated the United States in the Pan American Games of Indianapolis in 1987. That game certainly changed the history of basketball around the globe. Right now, I'm a professor at the Pontifical Catholic University and at the University of UT both of them in Curitiba. Furthermore, I coach athletes that, <coughs> that age from a surprising range from 10 to 75 years old. I also develop, develop a lecture that I give around Brazil about my athletic and academic careers. I would like to introduce you some of the, the points. The name of the lecture is You Are Bigger Than You Imagine. I am 7 foot 2, and sometimes I felt much smaller than I really am. Of course, the metaphor serves well for a wide range of experience I had throughout my life. Since I was a boy, my height seemed to be a disadvantage I got. Here I present you the first of seven lessons I learned during these years. Being different has a price. This is the main cause we must learn to make our weaknesses work in our favor. I lost my father at a very young age and never learned to deal with my height. People thought I was too immature for I seemed to be 15 when I was only 11. When I was finally invited to play basketball, I found my niche. In the courts, being tall is not a weakness, but a strength I was invited for. The second lesson I had to learn was to recognize opportunities. Sometimes life's, life knocks on your door and zip in is up to you and only you to open it. It was much of a roller coaster. I went to Sao Paulo at 16 to play, study and come back to Curitiba where I was born. Soon I became part of the Brazilian professional national team and months later got my first invitation to go to the USA. Everyone told me I was capable to make it to the NBA, so I left everything I had in Brazil and flew to the US pursuing a dream that would come true two years later. The third lesson I learned is that there are no uncertainties <coughs> in life. I did not know what was going to happen to me when I left Curitiba. If I had left Curitiba with a plan to get to the NBA, I probably would never make uh, I probably would never make it through. Instead, I was very truthful to my objectives. I would graduate in Sao Paulo and come back home. However, chances show, uh, showed up and I grabbed them. I was never sure of the things would work out, but I tried. I did not hesitate. My fourth lesson came when, when I was already in the NBA. We cannot conform. I got the biggest goal I had, but did not fight to keep it. Instead, when my coach asked me to, 
to fake an injury so another athlete could play, I accepted. I was injured for a whole season. At the end, I got cut and was too hurt to run after a new team. They wanted me, but I felt weak and decided to prioritize my own pride. That's when I came back to Brazil. Lesson number four, five. Don't give up easily. I gave up, turned my back to everything I worked so hard for without any fight. But that is why I was able to learn my sixth lesson, to always keep your best. I did not give my best to keep my place in the NBA. Today, I recognize that I lost many things, but I learned enough to deal with the problems I would face later in life. Learn from your mistakes. This is the seventh lesson. All the ups and downs of my athletic career were essential to dictate the way I would face my academic one. All the lessons I learned shaped who I was to become once I walked away from the courts. I stopped playing in 2000, and that's when the greatest challenge began. I had to rebuild my entire life with two kids and a wife to provide for. I sought the one person who gave me my first chance in a best in basketball. He brought me back to Curitiba and gave me a chance to restart. I went back to studying and start to coach. I took specialization in school age physical education and a master's degree in sports history and sociology. I have been teaching in university for the last six years and I am still learning and growing along every single student I have. I must say I had a very su successful athletic career, but cannot say the success was not followed by many ups and downs. Those will always exist in every situation. The one thing that makes us strong, however, is the ability to get back on our feet after falling down. I know that my academic career seems very short compared to the athletic career I had, but I am still building a path and until now I have been successful too. Last but not least, I do believe it's important to learn from your own mistakes, but it's smarter to learn from the mistakes of others. This is a cut short story of my life. I hope that all of this enriched your own. Thank you very much.